All right, so the last type we are going to look at right now is Boolean type. Okay, Boolean, uh, it's a very wonderful and interesting type because it only encompasses two states, right? Boolean can either be one or zero or true or false, okay? So one, zero, or true or false, okay? That's what a Boolean does. So a Boolean, Boolean, all right? true or false at each, at any given moment, it can either be true or false, like we said, or I guess one, or one, zero. And in fact, I'm sure you've heard before, people say, oh, computer is all about ones and zeros. So that means computer is all about Booleans, really, if you think about it. Next time you are at a party and somebody says, hey, tell me more what a computer is, you can say, hey, you know, a computer is all about Booleans, you know, ones and zeros, trues and false. Really, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but essentially that's all really this decision making process here. You know, if something is true, then we do this. If not, then we do it something else. Okay, and we'll see more about that. Now, how do we then instantiate or create a Boolean variable? Well, you guessed it, there is Boolean. So say enter, say my bool, and let's set this one to true. Again, if we go here, let's just concatenate here since we know. And my bool is, we know about the concatenation here. Let's just type, throw my boolean, my bool uh, variable into our system out here so we can see. Let's save and run. As you can see, my char is h and my bool is true. There we go. So you've learned yet another type, which is boolean. Okay, just remember Boolean is either true or false. So, and we will use this example uh, on how to use Booleans when we learn about uh, decision-making, if and else statements and loops at a later time. Now, at least you know the basic types in Java, right? Which are strings, um, integers, bytes, shorts, floats, double, chars, Boolean. So those are our basic types in Java, which we'll be using uh, most frequently. And of course, we're not going to be using all of them, but at least it's important that you know that they do exist. So in cases when you need to figure out where or how to use one um, or decide which one to use, now at least you have an idea. Okay? All right. Good job, and I'll see you in the next video.